Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So your girl is sick, I'm still is sick. I got sick like really bad. Like I think this was like three, two days ago, but I have like a really bad cold. So if I be sneezing throughout the video or y'all hit me like system T, okay? If y'all wanna hear that, get off this channel right now because it's, it's probably come, okay? I feel like it's coming right now actually. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Okay, you can have Aquarius anywhere in your sun, moon, rise, if you need anywhere in your birth chart. Okay, today's April 2nd. When the prayer says, Lord, I recognize that you are creatively, majestically designed everyone differently so that your wondrous personality can be proclaimed vividly throughout the earth. Please teach me to live in harmony with others, including those whose views differ from my own. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm just going to do some tarot. And then I'm going to give you guys some advice at the end of this video. So let's see, spirit guys, I'm a light and to the masters, the gifts of the light. What's going on for Chris and my collective? Removing negative energy from this deck. I thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. Like, I really appreciate you guys so much. It's only going to go up from here. Okay, thank you to everybody that commented on my videos, even if you dislike them. Okay, or, you know, whatever you do, you share my videos. Anything that you do to contribute to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Okay. Um, so let's see, Spirit Guys of Light and Sister Masters Range of the Power Life. What's going on? The praise. My collective. I have my tea right here. It just got warm, so that sucks. But we have Ten of Pentacles, we have Two of Pentacles here. You can make it into a Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. So I'm seeing here that somebody could have had some type of family here. Okay, or this person could be very materialistic here. And they went towards somebody here that they thought had more finances than you. Or I'm also seeing that this person had a family here. And it's like they was juggling you with this family dynamic here that they had going on here. Okay, it's like whoever they was with, they had to provide for this person. Or they couldn't have provided for the family here. They could have been the breadwinner of the family and they had to help other people. Okay, and it's like they always juggled about leaving some type of family dynamic here. This person could have been married here. Okay, what I'm seeing here is whether this person had like financial issues going on here, okay? Because they were from the Ten of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. It's like this person lost some type of inheritance here or some type of big job offer here. And it's like this person had to start doing, working multiple jobs here, okay? Uh-huh. But I'm seeing the Queen of Cups here. So I'm seeing here that you was just loving, you were just caring, you didn't care about this person's situation, okay, or their finances here. It's like you still love this person for exactly who they was. Okay, you was very kind, you was very romantic with this person. Okay. And I'm seeing here the devil card. Oh, I thought this was the devil, but we have the nine of pentacles here. So this person can be obsessed with you because I said the devil. Okay, this person can have some type of like bad habits here. Okay, or some type of addiction here. Okay. Or it could have been like in a situation that was very toxic here. They could have wanted you to be a part of that toxicity here. Okay. Uh, this person could have been a narcissist. All right. But I'm seeing here that you don't want to deal with that. It's like you just want to love this person. Okay. Um, and it's like he was very, I'm seeing he was very independent here. And I see that this person didn't like that. Okay. This person could have been jealous of you. Okay, because you was doing better than them financially. He was very independent here. Okay, and I feel like you could get anybody that you wanted here because you really didn't want this person for money. You just want this person to love this person. Okay, and I'm serious. Some of you guys could help this person here. You know, get back on their feet or get them some type of job here. And it's like with a twist towards here, this person just continued to stay where you know, in a stalemate position here where they didn't want to make a decision on you. It was like, I have everything to offer and it's like you know you're not gonna make a decision on me like i'm not gonna be you know in the two of swords energy with you where you in denial about your situation and i feel like it's you know it's toxic i'm saying this person was in and out okay it's like this person was used to toxicity you still people betraying them used to people always wanted from them okay and it's like this person had a problem with giving their all to people that didn't deserve it okay and it's like this person to give their all to you and you deserve it. You know, it's like, all, it's always a good person that end up getting, getting like treated the worst, you know, getting treated bad. Okay. And I'm seeing we have the Ace of Cups here. So I'm seeing this person had a lot of emotions for you, cared a lot about you. Okay. But it's like, they feel like they had to stay in some type of situation here. It's like, 
they felt either stuck with this person or they were just blinded. They was confused. They didn't know if this situation was going to work out. So they felt like they had to just stay where they was at. Okay. Like they, they felt like they had to stay where they was at because it's like, they felt like you were so good and independent that it scared them. Cause it's like, you can leave up and leave them any second here. But I'm seeing who, whoever they was dealing with, they knew this person was going to stay regardless. Okay. So it's like, they feel more comfortable there and they didn't want to make a decision. They just want to like juggle both of you guys here. Okay. We have the chair here. So I'm going to see here that you guys, okay, you realize that this person was confused, okay, and they're not going to make a decision. They was trying to avoid making a tough decision here. And I'm seeing here, it's like, you're like, all right, I'm going to go towards a new person here that's going to give them, give me their cup of love that's overflowing here. It's not going to be scared to express their emotions here, okay, that's not going to play about me, okay? And now you're taking action, okay? Or this new person is about to take action on you, or this probably already happened, okay? We have the judgment. So I'm saying here, yeah, you have made a decision. You're ready for a new opportunity here. Okay. And you realize what was going to be best for you. Yeah, so you walked away from this person. It could have been a Pisces you was dealing with here or a Libra, Cancer, Gemini, okay, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries here that you was dealing with. But I'm saying you walked away from this person, okay? This person made you feel lonely. It's like you had so much love to give. It could have been times where you guys were supposed to hang out with each other and this person didn't show up because they had a whole situ other situation going on. They could have a kid with this person or a family with this person. Okay, they feel like they couldn't leave. They had some type of foundation that they built this person okay and it's like they either feel like the, the situation they was dealing with whoever they was dealing with in this family situation the big mother the baby father they feel like it was like a work in progress here but it's like they still chose to like go towards other people here and give them their love but spirit is saying that that was unfair to you it's like this person just thought that they were just gonna just come in towards you leave you on and then leave yeah now I'm seeing that this person karma here is seeing you move on here. Okay? It's like they could be trying to hide it. I'm seeing this person can be used to wearing a mask here, trying to hide their emotions. But they, this person is really like, you know, I actually want to go towards the person that you're going towards. Okay? And fight them. In reality, deep down inside, it's like they're jealous. Like they don't want you to move on from them. Because they know that, you know, they're not going to get that type of loving from anybody else. Okay, and I'm sitting here, you're moving on, and you're going to trust somebody here that's financially stable. Probably this person wasn't like that. Okay, that's doing good for themselves. That's going to be loyal to you. That's going to give you stability here. That's very mature here. Okay, that's very faithful. Okay, something that this person can give to you. Okay, and we have the four bonds here. See, it's going to be amazing. This person is going to bring you a lot of peace, a lot of joy. You guys are going to have a lot of time with each other. And this is a blessing for you. Okay, you guys are going to have a family. You're going to get married. Okay. For some of you guys, this new person can have kids already. And it's like you guys can like blend your families together. For some of you. But I'm seeing this person is going to want to take things to the next level with you. It's like they're going to want to like celebrate with you. They're going to propose to you. This person wants you to have their kids, okay? Um, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is your karma. Good karma here. This is going to be destined for you. You're going to have a lot of good ships coming in here. This is fated, okay? Yep. Look, because all because you chose to level up and leave a situation that wasn't serving you anymore. You didn't choose to fight or be in competition with somebody else here. It's like you knew... That you need to love yourself. You need to pay attention to yourself. Because you is the only person that matters. Because you go, you're the person that have to live your life. Nobody can live your life for you. Yeah, we have the King of Swords here. Now this person, okay, is like thinking about you a lot. You in this person mind a lot. Yeah. And they're thinking about how they treat you so poorly here. It's like they could be watching you. And they could be seeing all the amazing things that happen for you. You could have started some type of business here. here, Or you could be like a, a spiritualist or something like that. And it's like your business is going amazing. You're helping a lot of people heal. Okay. And it's like this person is watching you like, wow. Like, I literally did this person so bogus. And they miss you so much. They're yearning for you. Okay. And it's like this person could be, like I said, this person could be trying to act detached or cool, trying to have a poker face here. But this person is thinking about you a lot, okay, in the past and how they treated you because this person had emotional baggage as well, okay? So it's like, you know, they, they, yeah, they had so many lies and secrets and, you know, hidden motives here. And you wasn't, you didn't have no hidden motives when you came towards this person. 
Okay, you will just be your true authentic self here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this person cannot sleep, cannot like have stress, feel guilty, feel burdened, thinking negative thoughts about the future. Okay, because of how they treated you. This person treated you extremely bullish. Like really. Okay, now they want to rush in towards you. This person most definitely was a player. Okay, they could have they 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 thinking about when they was in and out with you, like when they just had sex with you and they left and they gave you like some type of small offer here and they thought that you was going to be satisfied with that, like no, you know, and this person didn't have, I'm saying this person had a lot of problems here with finances here and that also stressed them out as well, okay, again, yeah, this person could have been very defensive towards you, could have been very like, you know, guarded towards you. It's like, why are you so guarded? Like, open up, you know? Like, stop putting, trying to put on this hard exterior here. Like, you don't have emotions. This person was either trying to protect themselves. Okay? Yeah, and I'm seeing the Seven of Swords here. But it came out in reverse. So I'm seeing here that now... This person is thinking about giving you some type of offer here. They feel like they don't have a lot for you, but they feel like they need to come in towards you and fix the situation. It's like they're going to try to fight for this connection, and they don't want to, like, they realize that they don't have to be this way towards you. They don't have to lie, cheat, deceit, and do all these things towards you, okay? Because you wasn't about that, you know? They don't have to wash their back 24-7. Yeah, now this person wants to come in towards you. They probably show up at your house or something like that or looking at you if they know where you live. Okay. You guys are in separation right now, but they want to come and communicate. Literally. I'm also seeing this person is trying to better themselves. They're trying to set goals for themselves here. They're starting off from like literally square one. And we have the fear of pinnacles here. This person could have put a head in part of a third party situation. Okay. And it's like you chose to move forward. It was like, how you try to work on a situation with somebody from your past and me? Like, I'm not finna know. Hell no. Ooh, okay. And we have this Eight of Swords coming out. Yeah, you chose to release that. Okay, sometimes some of you guys could have felt like very trapped and restricted. Like you could leave this person. But it's like you you get out of that. Okay, you took off that that blindfold. He was like, I can move forward. I can overcome this hardship. Okay, even though it's going to be hard for me to do it. But I have faith in myself that I can get over this. Okay, it's way worse than shit that I've been through that I got over. So this is, you know, I can get over this, right? And we have the Seven of Cups here. And we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I'm seeing here, okay, that you guys are, you know, you have a lot of options here as well. It's like when you start to detach or remove yourself from toxic vibes and negativity and miserable people, okay, it's like you have a lot of people that's coming in towards you, okay, that want to be with you, okay, that see your, your, your light, okay, see how authentic you are, okay, see how powerful you are, how beautiful you is, okay, inside and out. And I'm seeing the four swords here, it's like... You have rest. You have did your healing here. You have took time to either meditate, to be in solitude here. Okay, you realize that you don't need somebody 24-7. Like, it's okay to be alone. It's okay to master, you know, being alone and being by yourself and learning yourself over again. And it's like, you have been paying attention to yourself. You also have been paying attention to your work here. You could be an entrepreneur here, okay? Or you could have just started a new job. You just focused on, you know, remaining wealthy or, you know, Concentrate on things that matter, okay? And I'm seeing this person is still holding on to you. They're still thinking about you. They're still thinking about the situation. They're pissed off at themselves. Yeah, and it's like they're not gonna come in towards you because they're their thoughts here. This person have like negative thoughts running through their mind 24-7. Okay. Literally. And it's like you completed a cycle with this person. You chose to love yourself. Okay, and it's like now you're going towards your happiness here. 
okay you feel more alive you feel more happy okay you feel, now you know that you need to start communicating more in other situations this person taught you literally how to communicate and speak up for yourself because i'm seeing here some of you guys could have never really spoke up for yourself and express yourself and communicated clearly about what you want you just allow this person to just do what they wanted to do until it like built up and you just chose to just move on or you just chose to just probably smack this person okay because you have a lot of stuff in dealing with this person but obviously here now you feel alive okay you have found your belonging Okay, you are accomplishing a lot of stuff. You're very authentic. You have nothing to hide. You're not ashamed about your past. You forgive yourself. Okay, and you know what I'm saying here? You still could be learning to forgive this person. But if anything, you feel more happier. You feel like a weight lifted off your shoulder. Okay? And you know, sometimes people have things going on with them. Okay, that they put on to you. Don't feel bad about that. Okay? You know, people could be very old and still have a young mindset you know it's like it's it's them it's not cheap spirit guys love light it's just last is major pearl like give me some advice for Aquarius for whoever resonated with this reading okay we have look for a sign and we have big happy changes. The spirit is saying you could you could be seeing a lot of signs that's pushing you to keep going forward. You could be seeing things like a feather, you know, things of that sort, the same color, or keep hearing the same thing from strangers. You could be listening to the, the radio, you could hear like songs and stuff like that. That's the universe literally like giving you a sign like to keep going. Okay, look up those signs and what they mean if you can be confused, okay? Um, ask them to give you a sign, okay? Your spirit guides is there for a reason. I feel very bad for people that don't speak to their angels and their spirit guides. Like, they're there to help you, okay? And the spirit is saying you have big happy changes coming your way because you chose to change. So, you know, pat yourself on the back, literally, okay? Go take a shot of Casamigos or something because you did the damn thing, okay? So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. Thank you for watching my channel. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!